Hi, I'm Mazuz, and would you like to take part in the same giveaway that I plugged in the last video I did on sticker scraping? If you do, follow the link in the description below. I'll try to remember to include it this time. In the meantime though, this video is going to focus on scraping Face at London autograph stickers. So it's obviously no secret that you can scrape these stickers. I'm not going to be acting like this is some sort of incredible revelation that you know I'm the first to discover in this video, but I do want to try and nail down the exact details about what is good to scrape and what isn't. First of all, I'm going to try and figure out how the thickness of the font of the autograph affects things, because with the Boston stickers, thick fonts worked really well, but skinny fonts came out looking like garbage. So I've got six autographs lined up, ranging from a really thick font to a really skinny font, you know, NAF at one end, Nico at the other. I started off by sticking the NAF, Taco and Six stickers on an AK, obviously NAF had some bad Mexican food, and I gave each of them seven scrapes. Now, all three took some damage from the shape of the AK, particularly Sick. I think it's probably not a good idea to put an autograph sticker there if you want to scrape it, but otherwise the text came out intact. One of the first things that stands out to me about these autographs is that we don't get a clean autograph. With the Boston stickers, often there'd be no trace of the background left. With the Face It ones though, you get an outline left around the autograph from the background. Now, this outline is black because the background of the stickers is quite dark, so I don't think it really ruins the end result. I think it's, you know, just as good as what we had with Boston, but it is a difference, and depending on what sort of finish you're going for, something you might want to keep in mind. Next up was the autographs with the skinny fonts. Yay, sex god Nico! I slapped these on as well, putting Nico in a different spot after what happened to Sick and I gave each of them seven scrapes. Now, with the Boston autographs, Nico in particular did not scrape well at all, and he's using the exact same autograph here, but this time I found that they turned out really well. There's obviously some damage from the shape of the gun, but that's unavoidable. I think it's the black outline around the stickers that's probably allowing these skinnier fonts to scrape better this time, but either way, it's a cool result, and it looks like even if the, the autograph is quite skinny, you're safe to scrape it. So, all in all, these look like pretty good stickers to scrape. I also decided I'd give a few others a go while I was at things. I stuck one of those awesome Pasha autographs on my Blaze. That kind of ended in tears though. I don't think I'm going to be Pasha's friend anymore after mutilating his autograph. I also tried sticking some Kenny S stickers on an Aort Boom. The first one didn't turn out too well. I think I actually got screwed by the RNG there, but the second one turned out almost perfectly. These are both after seven scrapes, and I think this goes to show what RNG can do to your sticker. Sometimes it'll just ruin things, but other times it'll turn out great. And for good measure, I also decided to play dry something that Roffle tweeted and stuck a Some Die Young sticker on the scope of the ore, which I thought turned out pretty cool. I'm not sure what it is about obscure CAS players, but they always seem to have the best autographs, particularly Dimmer Stick, but Some Die Young is definitely the runner-up for me. This still leaves foils and golds. Now, Foils, as a rule, generally don't scrape very well. They tend to flake off when you try and scratch them. So I tried scraping a NAF foil and a Dozier foil. The NAF one actually came out okay. I think you can get away with it with really thick autographs this time, but you can see the flaking problem with Dozier. It starts off working fine, but then a whole chunk of the autograph scrapes off. And I don't think you can really notice the difference between foils and ordinary autographs here anyway. I mean, if you look at the NAF one, it's just slightly brighter. So I don't really see the need to use foils, like, you can probably get away with it, but there's no real point. As for the gold autographs, I'm too much of a tight ass to spend some money to buy some face at gold autographs, but I did recently scrape some Boston gold autographs, crafting the Wasteland Boys 2.0 with some items kindly donated by a viewer, and as you can see, the end result isn't too bad, it's just it's a very scrappy finish, there's little bits of gold left around here and there, so it's the sort of thing that works fine on a skin with a battered exterior, but not with a clean one, and Granted, I'm not sure whether the face stickers will be exactly the same, but hopefully the Boston ones are a reasonable guide here. Anyway, that's it for the autographs. It's short and sweet compared to the last video. If you enjoyed this vid, please like, comment, subscribe. Otherwise, trust the numbers, not your gut. I'm Jesus. Thanks for watching. See ya.